This long overdue video comes to you in three parts. Part one, recently I taught workshops at a local Girl Scout STEM expo. I did a presentation about possible plant science careers, what you need to do to get there, and some awesome women in botany. I talked about Mary Richards and Rose E. Collum, both of whom I've talked about in previous videos, and you can check those out on my Women in Botany playlist right here. It was so rewarding to talk to a room full of young women about careers in STEM. The girls were in the grades six through eight, and they asked such great and inquisitive questions. The presentation also reinforced for me that we're not teaching young people enough about plants. It's so much easier to sell animals in a science class than it is to sell plants, and too often they're skipped over. And despite being a really long day, I've surmised that three workshops in a day as opposed to four is my limit. I can't wait to do more of them. Part two. I'd like to talk about a plant that has been making headlines recently, and that's a plant that uses quantum physics to adapt to its environment. The species in question is Begonia pavonina. Begonias are well known for their colorful leaves making them common decorative plants around the world. Begonia pavonina, however, has iridescent blue leaves, and scientists were puzzled by this. It grows in the understory of Malaysian rainforest, meaning that it doesn't get much light. What scientists found, however, is that they contain specialized chloroplasts called iridoplasts. Chloroplasts are in charge of absorbing sunlight and making energy for the cell, but iridoplasts were special. They contain specialized crystal structures that when the light hits them, it slows down the light. This is a phenomenon in quantum physics known as slow light. This means that they're more efficient in low light conditions, making it easier for them to survive. Part three. Hey, come here. Oh, I got a dog. This is Peggy. She is a dachshund poodle mix, so she's pretty little. She's only about 10 pounds, but she is my new buddy in my new apartment. And if you want to see pictures of her, you can check out Tiniest Agent Carter over on Instagram. So I don't have to spam you with pictures here. Say hi. I hope you've been well while I've been away moving and starting a new job. You should tune in next week for a new video about circadian rhythms in plants. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and if you'd like to support me and help Brilliant Botany grow, you can support me over on Patreon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.